Hi, I'm Matt. Hey, my name is Andrew. My name is Genevieve Armstrong. Where am I looking here? Hello, I'm Katrina. Hi, my name is Rob Watson. Hi, my name's Maddie. Yeah. And I was the 2017. 2018. And 2019. I am usually the men's Vancouver Beer Mile champion. 2019. Except when Rob Watson's having a good day. 2020. The female 2020 virtual Beer Mile champion. What can I say? I love running, I love drinking, and I'm super competitive. Firstly, be a selection. Choose wisely. If you're a craft beer enthusiast, it's likely that the beer that you're chugging on race day is gonna be your least favorite beer. Definitely practice slamming beers. Um, Bland in flavor, very, very light and easy drinking, mild carbonation. I've only ever done one beer mile. My top beer mile tip is get in good shape for running a normal mile and then drink beer while you do it. Actually, before the race, that's coming prepared, which means actually practicing running, then chugging some beer and then running again. Yeah, I don't, maybe I would, maybe if I do good again this year, I might have more tips, I have no idea. <laughs> I'd say my top beer mile tip is to run the Vancouver Beer Mile when guys like Andrew Hall and Rob Watson aren't racing, so you have a better chance of becoming the champion. 20, 20, champ. I think the biggest mistake people make is confusing the beer mile as a running race, not a beer drinking race. A beer mile in theory sounds quite easy. Chug four beers. Who hasn't done that? I'd say the biggest mistake people make when they beer mile is going out too fast. Run a mile, four laps of the track. Seems pretty simple. And I don't fully understand the effect of the next chug, which is crucial to every lap. They don't practice running enough or drinking enough. They don't have a specialty. Either be a good drinker and give her a go, or be a good runner and just soak it, suck it up and go also. Yeah. That's a tip, two tips. The biggest mistake people make in the beer mile is barfing before crossing the finish line. One hundred percent, I'm gonna say bottles. And I don't even know why, but it's science. And Google will tell you that it's science. So if you can win the beer mile drinking from cans, then kudos to you because you're beating science, my friend. I have always used cans. I, I drank from cans last year. Bottles. I would go with bottles, 100% bottles. However, this next round, I'm going bottles. I've heard that that's the best way, so we'll see. I think a bottle pour is better. Uh, but the internet says bottles go down faster, so I'm going to try bottles this year. Food dynamics. I think a bottle's easier to drink out of. I definitely go with bottles over cans. I hear it's a tiny bit quicker. You can eyeball how much you have left in a bottle. Cans or bottles? Man, cans are for noobs. Bottles are for closers. End of discussion. So go with the bottles, and then afterwards you can return them for five cents each. Win, win, win. If I was giving advice to a first time beer miler, I would tell them to have no expectations, just go out there and have fun. I'd also tell them to burp themselves as they're going around the lap, because you want to try to get the air out as quickly as possible. Burp, burp, burp the heck out of it. Your stomach's gonna feel very upset. You're gonna wanna burp. If you throw up, that's normal. If you don't throw up, that's a bonus. So be ready to throw up with joy. So don't run your laps too hard. Enjoy the transitions, chug some beers, run some laps, have a good time, and 
work on your uh, on your time in the subsequent beer miles, which I'm sure you'll attend after your first. My advice to a first time beer miler would be run hard and chug hard. Get out there and practice because no one achieves greatness without practice.